wrestling fans, thanks for clicking on the Doretta D. Rose Report. Let's get started again. I've got a lot of news uh, as a part of promoting tomorrow's bragging rights. I hope you, let me know if you guys are going to get it. Or if you want to do a little prediction, go right ahead and put it on the uh, comments down there. Don't wait till after. Bragging rights. Cheaters. Anyway, Raw's uh, Sheamus was on uh, rock, uh, Rockin' 101. Dot com, I guess it's a radio station out of uh, St. Cloud. Never heard of that, Minnesota. He plugged the involvement in his, uh, you know, part being in the Raw team and also put over, believe it or not, Mr. Perfect and his son and AWA. Anyway, the Celtic Warrior uh, was blatant, though, uh, about congratulating the host for winning his Slammy. I can't remember. I guess maybe he did win a Slammy. I don't know. But, uh, and he said he works hard with the likes of Triple H, John Cena, Randy Orton, all that stuff. And he also alluded to the SmackDown team as pansies. I guess those little flowers. I don't know why he called them the flower. But anyway, for those interested, Jack Swagger's Eagle mascot. Did you want to know who that was or is? How about Chavo Guerrero? All right, WWE Tribute to the Troops 2010 special is due to be taped. 1215 Fort uh, Hood, Texas. Uh, word is that uh, special, the special is going to be a one air, uh, one air, one hour uh, airing on uh, NBC. And uh, this, of course, is going to be the first time shows ever been uh, taped domestically, though. Although, uh, oh, believe it or not, tonight, if you're going to get that, <laughs> you're going to have to let me know ahead of time. I mean, real quick on the comment, UFC is on tonight. Uh, anyway, champion Brock Lesnar, uh, he returns to the octagon. Oh, I'm already sneezing, and I don't know why I start sneezing when I'm talking to you guys. Anyway, the, he's going to be defending his uh, title against Mexican uh, heavyweight Kane Vasquez. Uh, Weigh-ins took place today at the Honda Center in uh, Anaheim, California, in front of thousands of fans. Final card is going to be the middle of the main event. Uh, UFC champion Brock Lesnar at 264 pounds, taking on Kane uh, Vasquez at 244. Uh, Martin uh, Campman taking on Jake Fields, uh, Diego Sanchez taking on pa uh, Paulo uh, Fico, Fico. Uh, Matt Hamill uh, taking on Tito Ortez, uh, Gabriel Gonzalez taking on Brandon Schaub. All right, Bret Hart, by the way, is running a Christmas sale on his website, uh, bretthart.com. Anyway, from now until uh, December 25th, every order will be shipped to... Uh, with a free, limited-time, commemorative 8x10 of Bret Hart's Appreciation Night at Madison Square Garden that went on a few weeks ago. Uh, the photo is autographed by Bret and has shots from the MSU show and his career highlights from Madison Square Garden listed. All right, MVP, by the way, mentioned on his Twitter that he wanted to change his looks with a new haircut but couldn't because WWE give him, uh, did not give him permission Due to the likeness issue with action figures, uh, video games, and other merchandise, MVP called it a uh, can of worms. But, you know, it's a wonder they let CM Punk do that with uh, his hair. But maybe, I don't know if he's got an action figure or not. Probably does. Anyway, the Wrestle Observer reports that if Undertaker loses at the Bear Live match at Sunday's Bragging Rights, it's very likely that he's going to be taking some time off to get shoulder surgery. Taker is still suffering, suffering from a uh, number of injuries, I guess. The, but the main problem has been his uh, shoulder right now. And he does need some surgery on it. In fact, The Undertaker has been pulled from several shows on WWE November calendar in uh, Europe. Taker was advertised for matches against Kane and Big Show, but the new listings have the matches as Kane and Big Show. That's all. Noted earlier, Taker is expected to be uh, taking some ring time off with the shoulder surgery, probably right after bragging rights, so I don't know whether it's kind of a spoiler or not. I don't think he would win and then be gone. So, and has he ever been buried alive before? I don't know. Goldust confirmed on his Twitter that wedding, uh, his wedding with Aksana would take place two weeks on WWE.com on NXT. Goldust uh, mentioned that he's going to be in the house for uh, bringing rights uh, Sunday. By the way, Thursday's episode of uh, WWE Superstars and WGN scored a 0 0.56 with a rating of 570,000 viewers. Replay did a rating of uh, uh, 0 0.14 with a rating of about 132,000, which I think 
is down quite a bit for uh, WGN. WWE previously said on TV that this year's Raw vs. SmackDown match at Bragging Rights would not be an elimination style, but that's changed. So don't listen to what they say. WWE website now confirms that the 14-man boy battle, uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, will be an elimination style. So there. And I got a feeling they're going to change it sometime. Uh, maybe at the show, maybe the manager is going to be uh, the mysterious manager, going to beat in, which I don't know. Anyway, he don't have no rights on the pay-per-view. But anyway, something to change, I think, to where Nexus is going to be in there. Uh, and I think they'll win. So, anyway, the new uh, 2011. I got to get this. The Diva Calendar lists the following pay-per-views uh, changes that are different from what was previously announced. But I care less about that. I want to see the pictures. Anyway, here's the way it's uh, listed so far. Uh, we got the Extreme Rules going to be May 1st, Tampa, Florida. Uh, originally announced for Orlando, I guess. Fatal Four Way is June 19th. Please make a note of it at the Verizon Center, Washington D.C. Uh, Money in the Bank is going to be July 17th, All State Arena, Chicago. Other dates for 2010 pay-per-views announced include bragging, bragging Rights, September 18th, Hell in the Cell, October 2nd. Bragging Rights again. Don't know why. Uh, October 23rd. Uh, Survivor Series, October. Uh, oh, well, that's next year. This is all next year. My fault. Uh, Survivor Series, November 20th, and Table Ladders of Cherry Match, December 18th. I'll get it right. It's the end of the week. Remember, don't tell them what I'm going to say. Except after announcing his retirement back in August, Jake the Snake, hey, still wrestling. Former uh, ECW WWE star uh, and the Barbarian was at an indie show in North Carolina, losing the match, by the way. Reed Flair also uh, wrestled on the show, defeating uh, Buddy Landell. Didn't know he was still wrestling. As noted before, Connecticut uh, Secretary of State Susan uh, Bywitsk ruled that people who run the voting polls uh, will have the right to tell voter, voters to wear WWE merchandise to uh, uh, change their clothes. I guess uh, they got people you who's know, going to be hanging around with WWE shirts on. You can't. She said uh, she has made this rule because WWE is so heavily associated with Linda McMahon and federal laws that not allow politicking material in the poll places. Enforcements of the rules uh, will be left up to individual voting locations. Activists, believe it or not, in uh, India is looking to serve the great Kali with legal notice for his absence from the Putin Job Police Department uh, in his home district. Kali has been on extended leave of absence for a while so he can work with WWE and film uh, some movies, but uh, Kali is in uh, violation with Section 48. Uh, the Punjab Police Act uh, stating that no police officer shall engage in any other uh, employment or office of profit whatsoever uh, other than his duties under this act. Kali has been uh, nominated for eviction by one of the cast members on India's Big Boss, I guess, uh, reality TV show. That's what he's been doing lately. Kali will be sent home from the show on next week's episode if that goes through. Matches for next week's uh, weekend's TNA live events in Missouri. Jeff Hardy taking on uh, AJ Styles, taking on Pope. Three way. Generation Me taking on Motor City Machine Gun. Madison Reigns taking on Velvet Sky. Other stars, the usual suspects. And by the way, uh, this will be Magnum's return to action since disappearing storylines in September with Desmond Wolf. I haven't heard too much more about Desmond Wolf. He's got some problems I think he needs to take care of. DNA announced on Facebook that Spike TV will be replaying uh, Reaction on Fridays at 12.30 a.m., Sundays at uh, 9 a.m. All right, what else have we got here? Uh, I got a bunch of stuff. Uh, that's too long. Oh, last night's uh, Impact scored a 1.15 uh, cable rating with about 1,509,000 uh, viewers. The rating is down significantly. From last week's, which was the 1.1, 1 .1, uh, rather 1.41 viewership last week's was uh, like 1,900,000. So, ooh, that went down quite a bit. Uh, reaction got a, a 0 0.68, 800,000 people. And thanks for clicking, you guys. I gotta go.